Hi everybody, I've just got home from the vet and um, you can see Jack resting in there. Now I'm not going to do a very long video with Jack. This is just going to be a very short one um, just to let you know that he is home and he is doing extremely well. The vet is just absolutely impressed with him. Now he's just had a painkiller so you know he's going to be very very drowsy at the moment of course um, they just said it you know generally you know after an operation like this um, and the pain that you know there's still an element of pain even though the painkiller is extremely strong he said um, Jack's disposition just is beautiful um, they can be very defensive and bite and because they're in pain and Josh said he hasn't said boo um, no matter what they're doing now tomorrow he has to have another painkiller injection um, in the afternoon and then every three days he he will have antibiotics of course um, I saw the photos actually um, that Josh took during the surgery uh, they've taken away Jack's gallbladder which is fine um, and they removed 22 centimeters of his colon so you know not <laughs> I, you know, can put it to you is not a lot is left, but um, they stretched it and joined it, as I've said, and uh, yeah, he showed me how they've stitched the stomach, or stitched the stomach sideways, actually, so that the stitches on the inside aren't going to come apart for Jack. Um, oh, you can hear him. Um, he's just saying to me, Mom, please, I'm not, I'm not feeling very well at all. Um, but that, you know, his tongue's flicking. Um, he's got a heat pack in there, so he's lovely and warm. Every day I have to wipe his wound, which pretty much goes from there all the way around oh you can't see my finger i'm sorry um pretty much from there all the way around so i've just got to keep that clean with a bit of um, salty water is probably one of the best um, or diluted betadine um, can be used as well but he said you know that salty water is going to keep it nice and dry for him so there you go I just wanted to show you Jack home and um, I'm going to put in with this video a video that I've done with Archie since he had his feed and everything and was due for his next one um, this little boy all he wanted to do was pee and poop um, during the whole video but uh, you know a little bit of nervousness but the peeing part but not the pooping part he just really needed to poop and the moment I put him back into his little tub he went to the toilet so but now I'm going to get Jack up there into a nice warm enclosure he's got Basking heat, well top heat as well as belly heat of around 29.30 for his belly. Um, I'm going to have to put the heater on overnight and keep the room at a, a 26 or so. So anyway, there you go. 
his home. Now it's for recovery. And the, when we know that he's going to be fine is when he has his first meal, which of course isn't going to be for a couple of weeks. Um, and then he'll get probably a wiener rat um, to start with and see how he manages it. But anyway, let's get on to Archie. Hi everyone. Well, I thought just to get off subject of Jack a little bit, even though that is all that is really going through my brain right now is thinking about Jack. But today was the day to get Archie out actually and be able to show you um, him. He, he had his meal, so he actually ate um, the first night that he arrived here, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, and he grabbed that rat without, you know, this little guy is pink, it, eating pinky rats, like that's what Rose was feeding him. So, you know, I didn't want to change that at all. Um, of course, I picked the littlest um, that there was in the pack and um, I'm sure he's going to grow, but uh, I've been, I know he needs to go to the toilet. I can tell like from his little butt end here and I don't know if you can see that, but I certainly know that he's, um, you know, wanting to go to the toilet at this particular stage. And if he goes on me, I don't care. Um, a little bit of mess from this little guy um, would be of no, no bother. Now, if you've not met Archie and saw the video that I did um, of him when he arrived, you can go back and um, have a look. It's only a few videos back. Um, of him on the day and he seems to have um, settled in very very well um, and just to I don't want to repeat myself but Archie is a, a rough scale python not what I would consider to be the most snake in captivity here and I think that's because people know their reputation of being very, very nippy. And our rough scales have very, very big teeth. Even at this age, it can hurt a little bit for a little guy. Of course, you know, I'd sort of go, oh yeah, well that hurt, but for the size of him, hmm, um, it can hurt a little bit for, for whoever's copying the bite and they they don't tend to just bite and let go they'll bite and they will hang on and then you'll get them off and they will come back and bite you again and repeat and repeat and repeat so you can cop a few bites I have not seen Archie show any defensive behavior and like I said, I give credit to Rose um, for that. Having started them very young on the process of being handled by us big humans. Um, well, our big, big hands, that is. But this is, yes, the first time I've had him out since he arrived because he did have that pinky rat and I wanted to give him time to digest and get that meal into him and I would like him to use the bathroom. He has urated, of course, um, a couple of nights ago. No, I didn't go rushing in to clean it up. It's a good thing, guys, with these little neonates, you could call them, well, hatchlings, I guess, um, to leave it in for a little while. And I think he's going to, to go. Well, we, anyway, 
um, at this particular point and hopefully he'll follow through and and do a poop I'm sorry guys um, you know he's probably a little bit afraid I guess you could say at this particular point he's you know very brand new but I'm being as gentle sorry I'm just going to put his little bottom down and you can't really see him but I'm trying to keep him comfortable um, at the same time so dude do you do you really need to go like it's okay you're quite welcome and I'll just have to change the um, the cover that's all I do have a paper towel down guys um, you know the just in case scenario and I'm I'm kind of glad I I actually did and he's so small guys that you know I'm hoping that you're able to actually see him now Archie well our rough scales come from Western Australia very up high in Western Australia and a very small pocket of land there as well come on Archie just just relax buddy it's all all good okay and um, stop straining so much to go to the toilet you know <laughs> but uh, yeah very small pocket of land they don't get very big really um, at all they only grow to about five and a half foot in captivity uh, so not a very big um, snake at all and of course not overly girthy either um, like I said I'm, I'm just putting his little bottom down like did you have to decide that you know like I said a little bit of nervous but I also know that um, he is needing to go to the, the toilet oh my goodness man looks like you'll pop everything out if you keep on on doing that on me but uh, yeah not a very big snake so and as I said not overly popular because of their right settle that bottom down come on just settle it down all right you're perfectly fine took him a little while to um to settle down when I got him out but um, hopefully maybe my camera will will do a little bit of focusing but he's so tiny it's it's not easy to get it to focus um, at all I can't get over the little tiny little wisp of a tail you know these guys live in I guess you could say like valleys gullies um, I don't know what word you use over there but you know waterfalls and then running down to the sandstone rocks and uh, little pockets of tropical rainforests in amongst that but they they love being in the trees um, they're great little um, climbers so certainly having the availability in their enclosures to climb is really important as I said I'm keeping this little fellow on 34 Celsius but they're reddish <clears throat> reddish brown in color they're just um, amazing and you just can't sorry buddy you just can't beat these eyes their eyes are just absolutely enormous 
though. No, I don't want to keep him out for too long. He's been out for probably about 15 minutes. Uh, give me, give me your tail. They like to to grip and hold something with their tail. It makes them feel a whole lot more comfortable and secure as well. But he's kind of, I think, contemplating needing more about the toilet than he is about gripping anything. So guys, I hope you just enjoyed this little video of Archie to break up a stressful time. Of course, I will continue to keep you updated with Jack along the way. And uh, yeah, um, we can stop weeing, dude. No, it's okay. All is good in your world, buddy. And I promise I'll love and take really good care of you. Okay? Bye, guys. For me and Archie today. Oh, you take care of yourself and your family and your friends and your little snakes that might do a wee on you. And your big snakes that Thank goodness they don't do that. Take care of all your animals. Ciao.